Next topic is angles. What do you mean by angles? No? Angles no cone angle. Angles no cone angle. An angle can be formed by two line segments. Always diverging from a common point called vertex. Or angle every form of na either two line segments. In the two ways. Same which na and that is or angle form of. What is mean by line segment ma? A line segment is a line that has two end points. This is the line segment. It has two end points. What is line? It has one end point. And in another direction it goes on. This is the difference between line segment and ray. Line segment has two end points. A ray has only one end point. In another direction it goes on. An angle can be formed by either two line segments or two rays. Listen. Take two line segments. This is one line segment. Take another line segment. This is another line segment. Both the line segments meet at this point. This point is called as the vertex. This point is called as vertex. Here they make an angle. An angle is formed here. Do the name. AB is one line segment. BC is Another line segment. Here B is the vertex point. Angle is denoted by the symbol like this. So the angle name A, B, C. A, B, C. Here B makes an angle. An angle can be measured by using this protector. Next, take two ways. This is one way. This is another way. Give the name A, B, C. A, B is one way. B, C is another way. This point B is called as the vertex. Where you make an angle mark? Yes. Both the rays are meeting at this point. No, here they make an angle. We can call this A, B as arm. This B, C also as arm. This angle mark. Angle A, B, C. Can you identify how many angles are here? Yes, very good. Here they form an angle. Here another angle. Here another angle. So how many angles are here? Three angles. How did you find it? Very simple. This is one line segment. This is another line segment. Both are meeting at this point called vertex. Here they form an angle like that. This one segment. This is another line segment. Here they form an angle. Like that. This is one line segment. This is another line segment. Here they form an angle. So how many angles are there in a triangle shape? There are three angles in a triangle shape. Look at this picture. Ma. In red color they have denoted. What is that? Yes. This is an angle. Between two line segments an angle is formed. There are so many angles between ground and staircase. Look at this picture. Like that. There are so many angles between ladder and ground. Look at this picture. There are so many angles. They have denoted in red color between branches of a tree. You itself identify the angles in these pictures. Next, we shall classify the types of angles according to its measurements. Now we are going to see the types of angles. First we can see right angle. Right angle is exactly 90 degree. Exactly 90 degree. Look at this protector. If the angle is exactly at 90 degree it is called as the right angle. First draw one line segment and keep the protector on the line segment. The center point must touch this point and walk at 90 degree because it is exactly is equal to 90 degree. Walk at 90 point. You must see the inner values only. You must
was not see the outer value. In the number of values are not popular. Mark at 90 degree. Then join nature. Looks like L shape of mark. This is the right angle. You can give the name for each A, B, C. Right angle is denoted by the symbol like this. Right angle is denoted by the symbol like this. Angle A, B, C is equal to 90 degree. Always right angle is equal to 90 degree. An angle which is equal to 90 degree is called as right angle. Next one, acute angle. Acute angle. Acute angle na kudumbonam. An angle which is greater than 0 degree. An angle which is greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degree is called acute angle. An angle which is greater than 0 degree. Around 0 vida adhikama no? Ana 90 vida kamya china. Adada inan sundamo. Acute angle. For example, look at this protector. The 0 degree lande 90 kulla yirkona. Adada 0 vida adhikama no? It may be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Or 90 with a kamiyako. In the in the space, then I mean, it's Acute angle. An angle which is greater than 0 degree, but less than 90 degree is called acute angle. For example, look at this one. This is on like image. Like this. If this is the 90 degree, so it is less than 90 degree. So this is an acute angle. You can give the name. Here an angle is formed. Angle ABC is an acute angle. One is obtuse angle. Next one is obtuse angle. An angle which is greater than 90 degree. And angle 90 is the angle. But less than 180 degree. 180 degree of the Kamiya. That is 90 to 180 to Nadu Rajna. That value is called as obtuse angle. 90 of the Arikma. 180 of the Kamiya. That is called as obtuse angle. Look at this protector. That is this is the 90 degree. In the 90 of the Kunja Arikma. 91, 92 like that. This is the 180 degree. 180 of the Kamiya. This portion is called as the Obtuse angle. Is it clear for you this? Angle which is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called as obtuse angle. This is the 90 degree amount. It must be greater than 90 degree like this. Okay. You can write this one. This is an obtuse angle. You can do the name P, Q or here an angle is formed. Angle PQR is an obtuse angle. Next one is straight angle. Next one is straight angle. An angle which is exactly equal to 180 degree. Exactly equal to 180 degree means it is called as straight angle. And this is the 180 degree. This is called as the straight angle. This is the straight angle here. An angle 180 degree is formed. An angle which is exactly equal to 180 degree is called as straight angle. It's what is this type of angle now? Yes, very good. Because it is exactly is equal to 90 degree. What is this type of angle? Yes, acute angle because it is less than 90 degree. What is this type of angle? Yes, very good. This is an obtuse angle because this is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. What is this type of angle? Yes, straight angle because it is exactly equal to 180 degree. Is it clear for you this? Take page number 18 in your max book. See this tablet column. 
they have given the picture for angle here name of the angle here vertex here two arms of angle what is the name of this angle angle a b c or we can write it as c b a this b is the vertex point what are the two arms of this angle a b is one arm b c is another arm shall we do for this sum say the name of the angle yes very good angle f e d angle f e d or we can say it as d e f angle d e f say the vertex point yes e is the vertex point say the two arms of the angle d is one arm f e is another arm so write it d e and e f or two arms see the next picture say the name of the angle angle p q r angle p q r or we can write it as r q p angle r q p say the vertex point yes q is the vertex point say the two arms of the angle p q is one arm q r is another arm p q and q r are the two arms of this angle take page number 20 name the types of angles formed in the following items they have given some of the pictures you should find out the type of angle in each look at this one they have given one l shape inside it they are asking what type of angle is this yes this is exactly 90 degrees so this is right angle right angle in scissor they have pointed out here what is this type of angle is it acute or obtuse angle yes acute angle because it is less than 90 degree so it is acute angle what is this type of angle ma yes it is greater than 90 degree so it is obtuse angle obtuse angle next one try this can you identify the angle yes this is obtuse angle because it is greater than if like this means it is 90 degree it is above 90 degree no so this is obtuse angle see this one what type of angle yes acute angle because it is less than 90 degree acute angle can you identify this one what type of angle ma yes obtuse angle because it is greater than 90 degree so obtuse angle can you identify this angle yes it is exactly 90 degree so it is right angle right angle copy it in your book bye kudis thank you